So we are going to be putting our tribute collage inside the People Magazine spread as a mock-up. So a mock-up is just simulating what it would look like when printed and when the end user is looking at it. So it's a good way to visualize what your artwork is, artwork is going to look like. Okay, so as I have it um, in here in our Photoshop document, you can see that there's lots of different layers. We're gonna really on, only focus on the one that's highlighted in red here. So I'm gonna hide and show it. You can kind of see that there are some words in there. This is to let us know that this is where the placement's going to be. Now we're not gonna just place it over top and then just fit it in. There's a better and smarter way. And we're gonna be using our smart objects to do so. So just like the other layers that I have here, the cover, magazine cover here, and the inside right spread, okay? I'm gonna go and get to this linked file, a smart object layer, where if I lazily hover over the layer that has that little icon on it, it's called a smart object. You might have seen this before when we did the place embedded. So when we go to file, place embedded, it does make a copy of our file and it is a smart object as well. But we're gonna be using this smart object to place it into our layout so it looks nice and neat, okay? So I'm gonna show you how it looks like in our inside right spread because that's already done for us. Um, I already placed these things in just to give a mock-up to what it would look like with the article, okay? So I'm gonna double click on this thumbnail and it's going to link us to that file. So you can see that there's different layers in here. I can edit them. Um, say if my file, if I didn't want the color in red in here, maybe I thought it clashed a little bit, um, I could change the color to black and do that. Now it's a, a linked doc, document, so it's linked to that um, People Magazine layout that we have, but it's not a live document. So if I make a change here, it's not automatically doing it on the the magazine spread that we have. So I have to commit to this, so Control S or File Save will help to commit these changes. Okay, now I like to just do a Control S because it just gets, a, get a, gets us to the file saving quicker. And so now I can go back to my People Magazine template and you can see that it's not red anymore, okay? so. Um, you have to commit to the changes. So if there's any other changes that I want to make, like say if I didn't want this picture, picture number four, okay? If I go right back to the template, it's still there. So I didn't click save yet. So once I click save and then go back, then you can see that it's no longer there. So it's a link document, but it's not a live document. So I'm gonna go back to it and I can see that everything's good now. Okay, so now getting to our area that we want to place our own artwork in. So your tribute collage is exactly eight and a half by 11, which is what this file says I told you to set it up as. Now, if I click on here, it's gonna bring us to a, a blank document pretty much, except for where it has the text that says place inside left template. I can hide that or delete that. It's not a big deal. But I'm going to bring my file into this document, okay? So I'm gonna simulate this with my layout copy here. So what I'm going to do, if I want to gather all these different items, including the background and all that kind of stuff, of course yours is gonna have those 20 pictures um, in total with five of them cut out. You're gonna have that big file, so you're gonna do it the same exact way. So you're gonna click on your topmost layer, scroll down to your bottommost layer, okay? So I don't need this magazine template one on mine. So I'm just gonna shift and click the bottommost layer. And then I could do Control C and then go to my, my layout, which sometimes it's hard to find, <laughs> okay? And then Control V to place. And then what I'm going to do is go Control S to save. And then you can see that in the template it's updated. Of course, we don't want this duplicated like this. I'm just simulating it so that you can do it with your own collage and you're going to be able to save it in here. So now this document, the People Magazine template, notice that it has a little asterisk here that's showing that it's not been saved. So we need to save this document, even though the other files in here are saved, all that kind of stuff. I know they all look the same because they are. <laughs> um, we need to save this document. So we're gonna name this our first initial last name, and this is gonna be called People Mag and Mockup, okay? So People Mag dash Mockup. 
So we're going to be naming it that and saving it as a Photoshop document and then also as a JPEG. You will be uploading both to our Google Classroom. And that is it. Let me know if there's any questions.